Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to show you how to get the level 4 limit break for Aerith. Uh, so once you get the car, you go all the way this way. Um, I'm going to have the map up for reference, I guess. And if you go into Cost the Soul here with your car, don't exit it. Um, you can uh, actually teleport your car somehow. Uh, your, your car somehow teleports once you uh, come out of June on here. So we're just going to Junon, we have to go all the way back through Junon to go to the Mithril Cave, because uh, we have to have the item the Mithril, which apparently you're not supposed to get until Disc 2, but how the hell are you supposed to get um, Eris Limit Break, Level 4 Limit Break in Disc 2 um, and actually use it is a bit dumb. But there is a way of getting it in uh, Disc 1. I don't know if these ports actually have discs, but anyway. Uh, once you get to the save point, uh, you can actually you, um, activate the elevator to go back down. Times 3 speed definitely helps a lot during this. And magically, your car um, teleports, like I said. So you could, all you gotta do now is go this way to the Mithril Cave. Damn it all! All right, I'll just get the fight out. And now here at the Mithril Cave, if you go in and talk to the guy, um, I fought 403 times. So to get the Mithril, you have to um, the last two numbers have to be the exact same, so in my case it has to be 411, so I have to fight eight more times off-screen. So allow me to do that off-screen. Alright, so I've um, fought eight times off-screen, so now you want to save, because sometimes he doesn't actually give you the Mithril for some reason. So for that reason alone, we're just gonna, uh, I guess, new save slot, I guess. And now... Thank you. <laughs> there you go, Mithril. So if you have the last two numbers of the, are the same, out of the amount of battles you fought, uh, he'll give you the Mithril. Sometimes he doesn't, for some reason he gives you like a bolt ring or some shit, but uh, that's how you get the Mithril. And now we can't actually use that Mithril until we get the Tyner Bronco, aka uh, when you get to sit in your pie. So let, allow me to uh, edit to that part right now. Okay, so we get we're at we got the Tiny Bronco now. I had to, I had to have a save point for this, but um, you should like spawn like right here. That's how where I spawned, and I just went over there to save. So when you have the Tiny Bronco, allow me to speed this up, I guess. Uh, you go around. Uh, not that way, I don't think. I don't think. I think we go this way. Nah. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so forgive me a little bit. I think we were supposed to go to the right. <clears throat> Yeah, so there's Nibelheim. So we go al along here. So there's my car at Nibelheim. So we go along here with, with a tiny Bronco. And just follow the river all the way down. And we now... Can, uh, go here. Um, Keystone, didn't come here for that. Okay, Temple of Ancients, we'll deal with that, I'll deal with that off screen later. But, that's not what I'm here for. If you talk to him again, let's change the subject. The Mithril I picked up, you give it to him, and 
there's a small box up here that we can now open. Come on, open it. Open the damn thing. Open it. Come on. Get, get. There you go. For some reason it didn't open, but there you go. The Great God's Ball. And... Let's use that bad boy, shall we? Uh, there it is, right at the bottom. Boom. And that is a trophy as well. I didn't show it because it's a trophy, I just showed it because it's a... It's a limit break. I'm, I'm gonna show uh, where to get every limit break in the game. Um, hopefully as early as possible as well. So that's how early you can get Eris Ultimate Limit Break. So let's see what it does. It fully restores all allies and makes them invincible. So basically it's a combination of all uh, the two level, level 3 Limit Breaks all to one, all in one. But I still think uh, this one's her best Limit Break. Um, mainly because, well, that I don't really use that often, but this one, it I just get a limit break with all my other two characters, and that destroys everything. So yeah, that's how you get Eris ultimate limit break in the game. Unfortunately, we shouldn't be around to use it much longer, unfortunately. But yeah, that's how you get the level 4 limit break for Eris. 